and her method was this little cap that she found, you know, and she puts it on at night, and then she just floats in the morning. Well, I found, I used the stock in the purse, and that really works, so her method works. So I found this bonnet at um, Walgreens. It's called the Satin Edge Bonnet Style 9600, and it's called Stay On Satin. Looks like that. It was only a dollar ninety nine. Can you see that? It looks like this here. And I have that other bonnet that I showed y'all in that other video. And it works very well. There's no, you know, um, it's just like an elastic kind of thing on there. And it's silky, so it kind of flies on your pillow. But it worked very well. Like, it kept the moisture in, whereas that other bonnet I had, it didn't really keep the moisture. It was a little bit dry the next day. But I would fluff out and put some shea butter on there. And I had, I'm like, I was out the door. Like, I was like, oh, yeah. And if we could just talk honestly, like, ladies, natural hair can become very tedious and time-consuming and frustrating because every day you're waking up and you have to redo or co-wash or, you know, diffuse or fluff up or do something. Like, it gets to be, like, I've gotten to the point, and I'll just be honest, like, okay, I, I wanted to bring out the flat irons. Like, I would get so frustrated because it just became so much buying products that, you know, work. And the ones that work on my hair are the expensive ones, like, you know? So, anyway, enough, that was a little bit of a rant. <laughs> but this works, so I'm happy. I've been wearing it for the past, you know, a couple of days. And I've just gotten up, and I was out the door, so I was excited about that. So those are my three little, I said three, those are my three products. I'm <laughs> goofy tonight, that I got, that I really, two that I like, one that I didn't. But, yeah, this is my hair. Today is actually a kinky curly day. I can see my camera changing color. But I have lots and lots of mo movement, and y'all, I'm getting the hang of this, like, I've, chopped off so much that I've actually like chopped my hair into a shape that I've actually liked. And it kind of looks like that Shaka Khan shape that they be going for in the hairdresser. You can do that by yourself because I did it. You ain't got to go to the hairdresser. Just keep cutting your hair until you get it right. <laughs> That's what I did. So but I really like it. Like I'm starting to really dig it. This side is so much healthier. This side I'm trying to nurse back to health but it's slowly coming out. One little piece, you know, gets a little dry there still but I just kind of cover that up and keep it moving. But it's so much better than it was, like, once I cut off all those ends. So I'm just actually really, you know, starting to love it and dig it. Like, once I get through the whole, you know, process, it comes out really nice. So, yeah, today I did kinky curling. Um, and then I just let it air dry. Like, I cleaned up the house. Let it air dry. And then I diffused it and, like, pulled it and separated and stretched it and fluffed it. So it came out like this. And I love it. Here's the back. I hope I'm in frame. It has lots of body. And I was surprised because usually Kinky Curly get that crunchy stuff going on. But I don't have the crunchies. You know, it feels kind of good. So I guess maybe you just have to, like, diffuse it more or pull it more or do something. Like, just, just work with it, you know? But, okay, that's enough of me being goofy. I'm about to go watch a movie. I just wanted to come on here and say hello to my new subscribers and say hello to my old subscribers and... I hope y'all are having a good night. Yeah. So, bye.